walking down through the woods again. There's a heat advisory this week. I dug like an hour and 20 minutes earlier today. I found a beautiful green swirl and a few other things. D uploading a video now. Thought I'd come back out and start to work on this where I left off here in my last upload. Um, it'll be on now. Found that swirl marble right down in there. Got to get that big mound off. I'm going to start on it, work about an hour, see what I can come up with. Yeah, just cleaning this out, found that. It's got black stuff in it. I don't know if that'd be a shoe polish or what. It says Armstrong on the bottom of it. See it there? Armstrong. Huh. See this? That cave in helped expose that rust layer. See, there's ACL Pepsi's in it. That's an eight ounce Pepsi. That would have been a good bottle. Oh. And if they're whole in here, the ACL is usually nice. But see, I'm hitting right where I need to be. See, right in there. I'll get this cleaned out and show you when I start getting into the treasure, baby. You can see that layer right there. That's where I want to be. But man, this is rough and going. I'm just trying to widen this and look at everything. See, that's what I want to be in. See, there's a little Nox image blue jar. I find so many of them, I haven't even been taking them. I have probably a thousand of them in my garage. Um, I'm gonna try to rake out a nice one. I can only go about an hour in this. See, look at that slow going now. There's a big bottle right there. It looks like that, some kind of oil filter or something look at all that trash man i'm looking i see the marbles right now usually in this dark soil whoa there's a baby doll and that's whole man that's a good find that's a good one it'll look great in a finds case look at that it'll be marked somewhere i would say Wow, that's nice. It's a little celluloid baby. Plastic. See, I'm soaking this. It's got some staining to it, but all oh, that'll come right off the little scour pad. It's a little plastic baby. It's just soaked with sweat. Starting to sweat, soak through my pants. But I got a swirl marble, and I found two emerald green ones in my last video. Well, one, and then one previous. Right here, what is this? It looks like some kind of swirl. We need to get a good cross section. See, this looks this looks pretty nice. What is this? See, it's a swirl with a real unique orange. Look at this. This is outstanding. These are probably alley agates. Wow. That's probably gonna glow too. That's a nice one. It's worth the trip up here to go with the other ones I have. I'm getting a drink to go for one more. Well, this doesn't glow, but it's just absolutely mint condition and beautiful. I'd say these are alley agates. That's really nice. Really nice. Pre-1949 is when this would have been made in West Virginia. Pre-1949. Later. Well, that's a pretty nice hobble skirt. Coca-Cola. Sistersville, West Virginia. There's no case wear and that's a nice one to take that yeah i just found a real big odd size one of these in my last upload that's parkersburg west virginia there's another one the label's usually always good on these sun crests it must be painted on twice not bad i don't know what that is but look at that weird bottle it's screw top probably cologne that's an odd shaped bottle yeah, I find one of these every trip, old doorknobs. This one actually has a nice fitting on the back, and it could be reused. That's the first one I've ever found like that. All that does is I could put this on a door in my house. That's nice. Yeah, it looks like I can see other cakes sticking out back in here, but here's another cake, and look how bold the embossing is on that. That's nice. New caseware. Wow. This is a good one. This isn't common. 
with this town name on the bottom. Pennsboro, West Virginia. Wow. It's a deep patent coke, but you know, Pennsboro, they made marble. There was marble factories there. That's a great find. I've only found maybe two or three with Pennsboro on the bottom. Great. All right, folks. Well, look at that bottle. It's just pristine. It's 1956. Pennsboro, West Virginia. Just the nicest Pennsboro coat cobble skirt I've ever dug. It's deep patent, but I don't care. That's a beautiful bottle. Happy to get that from my personal collection. See, Broughton's milk from the 50s. Um, there's, I'm getting into lots of bottles back in there, but I'm going to have to cut this down again. I'm getting tired. So this one, this one fell out of the wall up here. I don't know what it is. It's right there. It might just be a white one, but I can't tell. Now it's a white one, but it's kind of an odd color white. I don't, it's kind of beige. I don't know. It's a marble though. Uh, this isn't a white one. It's a, it's like flesh colored. It's tan. It's just a little tan peewee marble. It's kind of odd. I'll frame that because it's odd color. Well, I got another one. It might just be a solid color one. Yeah, it's like a a bigger one though. It'll look nice in the frame. It's like, oh yeah, it's nice condition. It's like brown. Like a beer bottle. That's kind of actually nice. I like it a lot. Well, there you can see that last marble. And see right there? It has like a black patch like on it over the outside and boy does this glow folks i mean that lights up like it must be filled with cadmium or selenium and that's shooter size and it's nice that's gonna look good in the frame and that's what is that put it in the comments if you know it's stunning <laughs> There's the layer. It was worth coming up here. I'm about cash, but I got another one. And that looks really uranium glassy green. I don't know. Can't tell what that is. Looks like a cat eye of some sort. Yep, it's a cat eye. It's a four vayner. Um, we'll see if it glows. Probably a marble king. There's another one. I gotta go. You see me. I lasted, it's been about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes, and this is just all I can take. Just like I'm sprayed off with a fire haze of sweat. That's how hot it is. Oh, man, folks. But victory. We have four vayner. Kind of faint wings. It doesn't glow. Maybe a marble king. But that's nice. It's nice condition. So not bad. See? Better bottles. There's a Sistersville Coca Cola bottle from like 1930. It's too bad that's broke. Well, I was going to leave because I'm so sweaty and I love this so much. Did a few more rakes and I saw this roll. It's just a smoking Steiner. And if it ain't cracked up, it's a day making hybrid cat eye. I found these before. They have like salmon colored in them. And this one looks like it has gray tips. This is the, oh, fix. this is stunning. Oh, oh my goodness. Five Vayner, that is just one of the nicest ones in a good while. Well, look how beautiful that is. Nice five vein hybrid cat eye, fix. What a beauty, huh? Whoa. Wow, what a good find. Boy. I'm definitely walking up out of here now. That's all I can definitely take. Get him and drink some cool, cool drinks and relax. Man, what a trip. What a trip. Right down in there, we'll be digging in the next one. That's a good spot, man, folks.
here's my new little buddy. You went down. Look here, folks. I think he's wanting petted. Look at this good little boy.